Praise the name of the Lord. This morning, I am blessed of God. And I am happy that you are there listening to the word of God. As we tackle this morning on our theme, that he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. I am going to read the Bible from the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. The Bible says, To the angel of the church of Ephesus write, This being says, He who holds the seven stars in the right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden lampstands. I know your works, your labor, your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say they are apostles and they are not, and have found them liars. And you have persevered and have patience, and have labored for my name's sake, and have not become weary. <clears throat> for, nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen. Repent and do the first works. Or else, I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place. Unless you repent. But this you have, that you hate the deeds of Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to it from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Let me repeat verse 7, verse 6 and 7. But this you have, that you hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to it from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. I have encountered two types of people in life. There are people who have ears, but they do not hear. Like the Bible says, let him who has an ear hear what the Spirit says. Because there are people who have ears, but they do not hear. I have also encountered people who hear, they have ears, they hear, but they do not heed to the word of God. But this morning, the word is telling us that he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. As we have been tackling the book of Revelation together, we have been 